The boycott, divestment and sanctions campaign against Israel continues to fight the Sarkozy government's efforts to criminalize their boycott of companies and products which contribute to Israel's apartheid activities. In the pro-Israeli people who call for bombing uh, populations in uh, Libya, uh, in Iran, to starve population in the Gaza Strip and even in Iran are contesting the, the right to boycott uh, Israel and Israeli goods. Opponents have previously argued that an Israeli boycott is a provocative act which incites discrimination, but BDS has been vindicated in every one of their court cases. Our case is not against BDS, it's against the actions of the boycott. Without any proof, the boycott campaigners are saying that products are from Israeli-occupied territories when the products are actually made in Israel. BDS leaders feel victory is assured in the latest round of trials, as some of France's top political leaders are currently calling for various boycotts. They boycott Mexico, they boycott uh, China, they boycott uh, even Canada because of the baby seals uh, and things like that. And the only thing you, you wouldn't have the right to boycott is Israel. BDS says they are more needed than ever. In Gaza, the population living in abject poverty has tripled since Israel's blockade began in 2007, while children living in the poorest parts of the West Bank face worse conditions. On April 15th, BDS France is planning to be a large part of Fly Tilla 2, a repeat of last summer's event, which saw hundreds of pro-Palestinian activists try to convene at Tel Aviv's airport on the same day. Intense Israeli pressure prevented most from leaving their departure country, but this year's attempt will feature more people from more places. Ramin Mazahari, Press TV, Paris.